Dad likes coffee. Dad has a couple of coffee videos. I recently learned how to make an espresso-like beverage using a mocha pot. Check that video out, links in the description. I wanna make like frothy drinks with it, but I don't have steam in that unit. There's no steam wand, there's no nothing. So the good people over at Hola Rico, they sent dad a milk foamer. Huh? That could work. I have no idea how this thing works. Heads up, they provided this to me for review. I didn't get paid by them to say anything in particular. They don't get to review this video. These are my honest opinions, but I didn't pay for this machine. Cardboard. Mm, instructions. A VIP card. This is, just so we know, the Milk Frother MF9304. It says it's 550 watts. It has a max of 20 ounce or 600 milliliters. It will max milk froth 11 ounce or 300 milliliters. And that's about it. The VIP card lets me register and I get three years of warranty, 180 days of free returns, customer service, and a discount on future products. Cool. I don't understand what this thing's gonna do, but it's gonna like heat milk and, I don't know, it has like this spongy, no, I don't think that's what, it... it's a loofah. At least if this doesn't work out, I got a loofah. We have the base unit, which look, cardboard. Make sure you take that out. That's scary. I could see somebody not taking that out and ooh, that's not gonna be good. There should be like something that like, warning, take that out very upfront. Ooh, I love a good peel. Let's see if this is satisfying. Mildly satisfying. Looks like we've got a temperature, a power, and a button that says froth, I think. Ooh, it's nice and stainless steel. I like it at. We have, this would be your whirling blade a jig Did anyone else used to play like mousetrap as a kid? Tell me this isn't mousetrap. They built a better mousetrap, but they made it a milk frother. Inside here, more dubious plastic. And we have a max and a min and a max. There's two maxes. That's a little confusing. Normally I just try to figure things out, but I think I might actually have to read the book on this. Ah, okay, so those buttons are for low, medium, or rich milk froth speed. And then there's a temperature select. According to them, this is the jug lid, the milk jug with a jug handle, a whisk holder, a whisk cover, a whisk spring, and a whisk disc. Say that three times fast. Variable temperature control. So for a cold latte, you just use ordinary. Cappuccino, 120. A hot latte cappuccino, 140. And a really hot latte, 160. They also have things for like how dense the film is the film, the foam. For a flat white, a flat white latte, cappuccino, macchiato. Interesting. So it makes some sounds. It has a sandby mode, boil dry protection. It will cease to operate if it doesn't have any milk in it. How does it spin it? Like it doesn't, is this like magnets or something? How does this work? This is like, there's nothing on the top to spin it. I, I think we're gonna just pour some milk in and see what happens. All right, it's a three pronger. So I had to get a special extension cord. Okay. I went halfway between the first min and the first max. I want the rich foam. So we're gonna go all the way on the right. Let's change the temperature. I want it for something hot. Now I want this guy. It just dinged off. I don't think that's right. Okay. So I didn't do this right. All right, so power, we selected this. Now you gotta hit the power again, and then it's gonna start doing stuff. It's gotta be like magnets that are spinning it somehow. 
And then it's supposed to shut off when it has reached the desired temperature. And foaminess. Apparently there are all different kinds of ways you could set the whisk up where if you don't put the little disc in it with the, looks like a mesh, it produces a different kind of foam. We are getting dangerously close to the max milk froth level. We are approaching max froth. It's supposed to make a noise and shut off when it's done. It's a long time to froth milk. I mean, I did pick max froth. All right, we're done. Dad has a espresso-like beverage that he made himself using his maca pot. And now I have foamed milk that I can pour into said espresso-like beverage. Oh, my latte art is amazing. You guys have to see this, hold on. Have you ever seen such exquisite latte art? I don't think you have. All right, cheers. It's hot, foamy milk. It does what it says it does. It makes foamy milk. I'll show you some. I mean, made like a meringue in the middle there. I don't know if I would do this every morning. It seems like a little bit, maybe if I was gonna make a bunch for a couple people, but to make myself one latte, I don't know, I wish I had like a steam wand, but this works if you don't have one. I'm conflicted. It does what it says it's supposed to, but it just seems like a lot of work. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Is this something that you would do for yourself to get yourself your own like latte at home? Or would you rather just, you know, just put regular milk in there? That's an option. I also have another thing that I use. Hold on. This is what I used to use to foam my milk. It has kind of that same little whiskey thing on the bottom. I would heat up some milk, stick this in there, and make my foam. Um, it doesn't make as much foam. I would use this little container here. You can whip cold foam with it. I'll show you. So, I got milk in here, right? Foamed milk. But it's not as precise as this, I guess. Like, this will do specific temperatures, and you can do densities of foams. Made a nice beverage. I don't know if this is gonna replace my little, my little hand one. Let me know in the comments, which one would you go with? The hand one or the big pot? If you're not already, maybe consider subscribing. That would be tasty. Update. I was just cleaning up and I looked at the foamed milk that I foamed with my little hand foamer. There's no foam left. It's just milk. The foam is gone, but the foam from the Holarico, still foamy. So there is something to this. It makes more stable foam that'll hang around and be better for drinks. All right. It is gonna replace this. And dad might review milk frothers that were sent to him and show another option that wasn't sent to him one thing that doesn't do is an outro. That's it. Bye.